in this video we can prove theorem 5.20 uh, we have uh, we will prove this theorem using the uh, lemma that we have proved in the previous lecture so we start with uh, let a is a non zero ideal uh, this shows that every non zero ideal has a, a generator set with two elements okay uh, two elements can generate uh, every uh, every non zero ideal of o this is this result so we start with the non zero ideal a and we will find uh, b belongs to a corresponding to any b belongs to a we can find alpha okay such that this a is generated by uh, exactly these two elements okay so we start with uh, lemma uh, lemma uh, in the previous lecture uh, lemma 5.19 shows that if we have a, a non zero ideal uh, a this is non zero then uh, we have another ideal b uh, corresponding to these two ideal if we choose alpha belongs to a or we can find alpha belongs to a such that alpha a inverse plus b is always equal to o okay this is what we have proved in the lemma for any two non zero ideals a and b we can find alpha belongs to a okay uh, an element alpha non zero element alpha from one of the ideals such that this will be o okay so we will use that lemma here uh, by taking b as we have already an, a non zero ideal a here and an element beta so using this beta we will uh, construct a new ideal beta a inverse that is b okay so corresponding to uh, these two non zero ideal b and a using the lemma we can find an alpha from a such that alpha a inverse plus b b is nothing but beta a inverse that is equal to o by taking this uh, a inverse out then you can write a uh, this this is same as this this implies ideal generated by alpha a inverse plus ideal generated by beta a inverse equal to o okay now you can write it as ideal generated by alpha plus ideal generated by beta is into a inverse equal to o by multiplying uh, a with both side you can write a is equal to from the right side you can get a uh, and the left side will be ideal generated by a plus ideal generated by b okay that is nothing but the ideal generated by a and b because this is the the smallest ideal containing a and b so a can be written as ideal generated by alpha comma beta so uh, we can say that any non zero ideal there exists exactly two elements uh, which generates a this proves a theorem 5.20 now we can prove theorem 5.21 this is the characterization of uh, uh, factorization into reducible unique factorization into reducible of o uh, i think this will be the last theorem of the syllabus uh, we have one more section for 5.4 uh, but that section doesn't contain any uh, theorem and theorem of proof so that is uh, that is a section which uh, which deals with some inf information uh, regarding the cyclotomic uh, extension now uh, we, we will prove this uh, theorem 5.21 a factorization of elements of o into irreducible is unique if and only if every ideal is principal okay uh, this shows that if, uh, if uh, o is a principal ideal domain if and only if o is unique factorization domain okay so this is the uh, this is this is this result is applicable only for the ring of integers generally this result is not true okay there can be uh, uh, unique factorization domains which are not uh, uh, principal ideal uh, which are principal ideal domains okay so uh, uh, in, in general case we have only uh, one implication okay that is what yeah, what i mean uh, p principal ideal uh, domain implies unique factorization domain this is the general result conversely not be true but in this case if if uh, the case in the case of algebraic integers we can get the uh, reverse uh, inclusion uh, implication as well okay so oh, we need to prove that uh, so one implication is always there uh, if o is principal ideal domain then every ideal is principal ideal then if, if o is a principal ideal domain then using this implication that we have proved in i think 4. Point, theorem 4.1 uh, uh, o is always a unique factorization domain okay to prove the converse uh, if the factorization of elements is unique uh, we need to show that uh, every ideal is principal ideal okay so uh, 
in order to prove every ideal is a principal ideal we will prove that every prime ideal is principal ideal because uh, once you prove every prime ideal is principal ideal you can easily prove every uh, every arbitrary ideal is principal ideal because every ide non zero ideal can be written as p1 into etc uh, pr and if we if we prove this each pi is uh, principal ideal we can write it as some uh, uh, some element generated by a1 and etc a R, then this can be written as a1 etc ar so once you prove every prime ideal is principal ideal then we can get every ideal is principal ideal okay so we will prove every prime ideal is principal ideal so we start with a non zero prime ideal uh, then uh, uh, if you consider norm of this prime ideal p that will be always that will always be a uh, positive integer n and we have n belongs to p uh, consequently we have p divides n that is p divides ideal generated by n but we know that this n can be written as every element of o can be written as product of irreducible so this n as well p divides n and this n can be written as uh, product of irreducibles say pi 1 pi 2 etc pi s so p divides n means uh, p is a prime ideal then p divides n means p divides ideal generated by n that is nothing but uh, ideal generated by pi 1 etc pi s that is equal to ideal generated by pi 1 etc ideal generated by pi s both are same so since p is prime then p divides one of these ideals okay say pi i so p divides pi i for some i okay so but we know that uh, if uh, our assumption is this is a unique factorization domain in a unique factorization domain uh, uh, irreducibles coincides with prime elements so this uh, p i is a prime element if p i is a prime element then this ideal is always a prime ideal okay because uh, the actually that is a uh, exercise i think uh, that is exercise exercise one of this chapter okay so uh, we can easily prove that that is uh, uh, first you assume pi i is a prime ideal we need to prove that pi i is prime element so we need to prove that pi i whenever pi i divides a b uh, we will uh, prove p, uh, pi i divides a or pi i divides b okay so pi i divides a b means uh, ideal generated by pi i uh, divides ideal generated by a into ideal generated by b our assumption is this ideal is prime ideal so this pi i uh, divides ideal generated by a or pi i uh, divides b okay this implies uh, pi i divides a or pi i divides b okay so that is a uh, uh, very trivial implication now on the converse part we can easily prove so uh, i'll i'll left that as an exercise uh, you need to prove that whenever uh, pi i is a uh, prime element then you have to prove that pi i uh, ideal generated by pi i is a uh, prime ideal so uh, using this fact we can get p uh, ideal p uh, divides ideal generated by pi i means both are prime ideals okay so uh, this implies p and pi i are prime ideals then uh, we have the reverse uh, uh, divisibility as well so p divides this and ideal generated by pi i divides p so we can get p ideal uh, p is equal to ideal generated by pi i this shows that uh, this this non zero prime ideal is always a principal ideal so we have every prime ideal is a non zero prime ideal is a principal ideal uh, consequently we have every non zero ideal is a principal ideal this shows that this o is a principal ideal domain now we have the uh, reverse implication as well so this theorem 5.1 follows now we have the last section 5.4 non unique factor session in cyclotomic fields so uh, from this section there will not, will not be any uh, questions in the examination so uh, you need to go through this section and uh, uh, try to understand the examples explained here and uh, we can discuss if you have any doubts in uh, online interaction so this completes uh, our uh, syllabus the four modules so uh, one thing i would like to uh, say that uh, you need to uh, submit an assignment of uh, doing all these um, exercise in chapter 5 so I, I left so many ex examples and 
not exercise examples uh, i i left so many uh, examples in between the theorems and uh, lemma so you need to uh, try to understand all these examples and uh, submit it as a assignment okay so this completes our syllabus